ipmnation.com. Well, there you go. Now, speaking of uh, immigration, we did uh, discuss this yesterday on the program. And uh, we were talking about, you know, there's a lot of illegal immigration that goes on uh, at the northern border uh, as well. Um, in fact, uh, as Jenny pointed out, uh, several of the hijackers on 9-11 uh, entered the United States th- through the northern border. And uh, this is a problem, uh, according to some. Uh, of course, uh, you know, there's a lot of smuggling that goes on and so forth uh, because we have a very porous border. To the north as well. Now, for some reason, no one gets upset about that. Uh, I, I I can't imagine why. Um, I mean, uh, I would make the observation that probably uh, the the folks who are uh, entering the country illegally from the north, uh, maybe they look a little different than the ones uh, entering uh, the country from the south, and and so. Uh, people aren't quite as, uh, the kind of people who get upset about that kind of thing aren't quite as upset about that kind of thing <laughs> coming from the, I mean, you know, that they, you know, they do, uh, look a little bit like, uh, they belong here. Maybe some would say, I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying that they're saying that, but, uh, I'm just saying there's gotta be some reason why it's so easy to get so worked up about, uh, these, uh, people, uh, uh, entering the country from the southern border, yet uh, most people don't seem to mind very much uh, these folks entering from the north. And, uh, you know, I, I I don't know. if Maybe maybe Trump will address that soon. Maybe uh, d- when he speaks tonight, maybe he'll uh, say that these undocumented – well, he wouldn't use that term. He would call them illegal aliens. Maybe he'll, he'll say uh, – and by the way, while we're at it, these illegal aliens coming from the north, you know, they're, uh, they're rapists too, uh, clearly – uh, maybe he'll say that and something needs to be done about that because I, uh, you know, I, I thought about this after yesterday's show and I hope you'll all join me in this. I say, you know, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. Oh, hello to uh, Lisa St. Clair who joins us in the Facebook live chat. Hi, Lisa. Uh, that's uh, someone I haven't seen pop up in there before. So welcome to the show. Oh, and I also see uh, Derek Evan Relliford is in there. Hello, Derek. Good to see you. Happy New Year. Um, I say... In terms of Trump's wall and the $5 billion that he needs for the wall, whether it be concrete or steel slats or, uh, well, I have a couple of proposals on the table. So before I tell you about the new proposal, let's revisit my previous proposal, which is, uh, because I know cost is concerned, I do believe as a sovereign nation, by the way, we have every right in the world to do whatever it is. Uh, we want to on our, our southern border or our northern border. We absolutely do. And, and even if it's a colossal waste of money, we have a right to do that. And we have a right to fortify our border. I do agree uh, with many of my friends on the right about that. However, I, I know cost is a concern. So I brought this up on the show last week. I'll bring it up again. I think we should have a velvet rope. Because people will tend to respect a velvet rope. I mean, you may be skeptical about that, but like I said on the show last week, uh, I, I believe I said this when uh, Q called into the show. You might remember we got a, a, a call from uh, Mr. Q Public. And um, I said, look, a velvet rope. And then, but, but it's not just a, it's not like a traditional sort of black velvet rope or something like that. Like you, you make the rope red, white, and blue. And maybe the stanchions that hold the rope up could be red, white, and blue. They could have like little American flags on them or something, or maybe even shoot lasers. Not lasers at uh, people trying to cross, but just like a, a laser show, uh, you know, red, white, and blue lasers in the sky. I think it would be very exciting. It would be very patriotic. And, uh, you know, I think that because what would happen is, and to you skeptics, I say this. People would approach the border. They would see a velvet rope and they would know, oh, there's a velvet rope there. That means I got to go wait in line. And then they, you know, you wouldn't need all these border patrol agents. That's very expensive, right? So maybe uh, you just hire some bouncers. Uh, they wouldn't even have to be there seven days a week necessarily, maybe just on the weekend. But you hire some some bouncers, you know, you disperse them throughout the border. You know, they're they're keeping an eye on the velvet rope. And I think it would be wildly successful. Or at least let me say this. I think it would be about as successful uh, as what we're doing now and uh, what we might hope to do in the future. And I think it would be a lot cheaper. Now, I I will confess this. Because there are going to be those of you that will say, Matt, 
I don't think you've thought this all the way through. To which I would say, maybe you're right, because I, it does occur to me, as I'm talking about my velvet rope proposal, I have not looked up the cost. I don't know what it would cost to have a velvet rope. Uh, because, I mean, and it would have to be velvet. I'm not saying just uh, string up a rope. I mean, I think that would be relatively cheap, but no. Uh, or maybe some bungee cords or something like that. No, it has to be a velvet rope. People won't respect bungee cords or just a regular old rope, but they see a velvet rope and they know, oh, I'm not supposed to just go there, right? So I don't know what the cost would be. Now, Trump has told us that steel slats would actually be did he say it would be cheaper? No, 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 he didn't because he's firm on the $5 billion idea. He said it would be stronger. Steel is stronger than concrete. Isn't there a, a song, by the way, called Concrete and Steel by like uh, the fabulous Thunderbirds or something? But anyway, but no. So uh, I say let's go with the velvet rope. I think it's I think it's something we can all agree on. And frankly, I think it would be kind of classy, you know, uh, let's uh, let's you know, kind of class up the joint a little bit. And by the joint, I mean uh, the United States, which I, that is not in, in any way, I promise, uh, that's not in any way a reference to my attitudes about the drug war. I'm just saying, uh, I think it would be a very classy way to handle it. And and uh, so, but here's my new proposal. And by the way, this is not to replace the Velvet Rope proposal. Uh, proposal. This is in addition to, but, well, maybe it does replace it in a way. You'll understand why when I say it. If Trump is insistent, he needs his $5 billion for the wall of concrete or steel slats or velvet, a velvet rope. It would be a single velvet rope. It, it has to, you know, there can't be any breaks in the velvet rope, by the way. It would have to be. That's something I must insist on, okay? It's not like there's some areas. I know some areas are, are impossible for immigrants to cross because they'll die. But even there, I would still, the, the rope from sh sea to shining sea, the rope must go. You're going to need quite a few stanchions. That might get pricey, but I can't imagine it would be $5 billion. But Trump is insisting he needs $5 billion. I say give it to him, but if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. So in addition to my velvet rope proposal, I have a second proposal. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. We'll go ahead. We'll give him $5 billion for the southern border, but... We also have to give him $5 billion for the northern border. We need to have, if, he, if he's going to insist on either concrete or steel or a velvet rope, whatever it may be, we need to do both borders. Because according to the research I've done, it's just as much a problem, if not more so, at our northern border. And yet no one is talking about, no one's ever talking about the northern border. And how porous it is. And all the people who cross illegally. Like I say, I, I can't quite figure out why. It's it's quite stunning to me. I mean, it seems like uh, if it's such a problem at the southern border, why wouldn't we also take it seriously at the northern border? It, it, it is almost as though there's just uh, something inherently different about the people coming in from the north that people are a little less worried about, a little less freaked out about. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe they're not, uh, rapists, uh, as the president says, our, uh, southern entrants are, or, uh, maybe there's not, it's because there's not a caravan, uh, just careening toward the border from the north. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know, but there's just, for some reason, gee, it's, it's such a head scratcher, isn't it? I, I, it? It's just so dumbfounding. What could it possibly be? What could possibly be the reason that people are so angry <laughs> about these people just th that are pouring in, right, from the – which actually isn't even true uh, and hasn't been true for at least a decade now since the financial collapse of 2008. That's actually, um, uh, according to uh, uh, numbers – by the you know that have been calculated by the border patrol itself that we might even have a net, a net negative number of illegal uh uh or undocumented immigrants as i prefer to say uh uh and and in fact uh so there really is no issue at all <laughs> and and uh you know more of these folks who are in the country illegally are actually in the country illegally uh because they over overstayed their visas so people who entered the country legally 
and uh, decided to stay longer than their visa and are just uh, trying not to get caught that way. And that's the real reason. Uh, that's the real source of most of the illegal immigration, not people coming over the southern border. Mm, yet for some reason, despite all of that, and despite what happens at the northern border, despite all of that, People get very upset and very worked up about what goes on at the southern border and who's coming across the southern border. And I just, boy, I'll tell you, I'm stumped. What could it possibly be that makes it so easy to demonize those people and assume their worst motives? Or to suggest in some broad way, because something that I hear a lot is, well, you know, there was uh, this guy, uh, for example, who committed this horrific murder who oh, turned out was here illegally. So therefore, that means they're all murderers. <laughs> so we need to round them all up and send them home. Which is actually, to take that attitude, it's kind of racist, to be honest with you. When you take the actions of, and that's not in any way to minimize the murder of anyone, but I have to tell you, this is how I perceive it. Whenever you take the actions of a tiny and infinitesimally small number of people within a very large group and then paint that entire group of people, that entire demographic as all being capable of the same terrible things that that uh, very small number of people has done, that kind of seems a little racist to me. Sometimes I call it xenophobic. That's when I'm trying to be kind. Mm, some days I'm not feeling quite so kind, and I just want to call it exactly what it is, which is racist. Um, but I'm not saying, I, I don't want anyone to take what I'm saying the wrong way. I'm not suggesting that that has anything to do at all with why people are so upset about all these people coming in at the southern border. And don't even bad an eye about the people coming in from the north we're fine with that i mean uh, right here in new hampshire we're in a state that borders canada so there's people crossing that northern border of our very state illegally every day but but for some reason i don't personally know anyone in new hampshire who's really too freaked out about it even though we are a border state and we border canada and there are people crossing not only into the united states but into New Hampshire, there are people crossing into New Hampshire every day, illegally. Eh, that's all right, whatever. <gasps> oh, my goodness, there's a caravan coming from the south. Oh, these murderers and thugs and gang members coming from the... <gasps> oh, my goodness. <laughs> that's what we're mad about. Eh, again, who knows why, though? What could it possibly be? I'm not implying anything. IPMNation.com